Okay, so over the last couple of days, I've been like messing with this. I pulled this out and messed with this phone again. Oh, for those that haven't seen this, this is like a decently like old-ish phone, like probably a decade-ish old. And I've had a custom firmware on it that I installed when I was first using it. But now it it has since been sitting around off to the side in like boxes and whatnot doing nothing. But just barely, um, I tried flashing a couple different firmwares on it and setting it up differently. And I ended up going back to Cyanogen Mod on it to mess with it. And so I've copied over a bunch of music to it. So it's basically just a glorified, oh, MP3 player. So you can see I've got, so this is the default, oh, music app that comes on Cyanogen Mod Apollo. So I haven't really done too much with it, just transferred a couple things onto it. It's stock basic Cyanogen Mod, um... The latest snapshot, I think, from 2015. And obviously it just runs pretty smooth, like, still. Web browsing isn't going to be the best, but that's okay, because basically this is mostly music at this point. And so some of the notable things about this phone from back at the time is headphone jack it did have the slide cover for the usb which kind of kept some dust out but yeah let me do so it kept some dust out it doesn't have really any ports back there that's the microphone there's the earpiece oh cyanogen mod was basically the precursor to lineage os and so offered a bunch of personalization options and you could install themes and whatnot for it at the time. But a lot of that stuff has since been pulled down. Because Cyanogen Mod is basically defunct. But if we go into About Phone. You can see it's version 11. And it's based on Jelly Bean. I believe it was. So it's 4.4.4. .4 and yeah, that's, that's the really cool thing about it. So... When you think of Lineage OS, just remember Cyanogen Mod was just there before. So Apollo's the default app. It's kind of got that old Android feel to it still, so really nice. And then the lock screen oh, does a nice CRT flash. So getting into the phone like this... You basically had to slide it down, and then you could pull the back off. I've got a dumb SIM card in there that is, like, not used anymore. So, and the lock screen... Oh! Come on, buddy. Lock screen was pretty cool. It was a quick app launcher, whatever you could have, depending on what you set up. So if I go in, I can go to lock screen, screen security... Can go change it to slide, pattern password, none. So it just goes right in when I press the unlock button. Um, battery status, slider shortcuts, button actions, that kind of a cool thing. Um, but yeah, it's pretty basic. So like for 2022, you're obviously not going to be using this with any modern networks per se. But I mean... Maybe you could still use it as a camera. I mean, I probably wouldn't recommend it as a camera phone. Because it's probably not going to be all that nice. Although it still focuses pretty nicely. And the camera app has some nice panorama if you are so inclined to that so we can sit there and record stuff on it i will pay attention to like what's going on in the view can sit there and record stuff on it 
But yeah, and soft hardware keys, I guess. That way. But yeah, mostly this will probably end up being a glorified OMP3 player. Because another thing that this has is an equalizer for it. So you can equalize the speaker, your headphones that you plug in, Bluetooth headphones if you are so inclined, or any docks that you plug in, and so on. So it gives you like a lot of options, and I'm not sure if Lineage OS will have that, but I will find out soon. But yeah, so mostly probably looking at music for this thing. I mean, would I buy one, another one? Probably for 20 or 30 bucks, because it would make a nice MP3 player. It's only like 16 gigabytes. You can still slip an SD card into it if you're so inclined. Or, so, junky SIM card, you can slip an SD card into it in that slot right there still. Yeah, micro SD. I'm not sure how big it would get. Batteries, still pretty standard. I think these ones, um, you can get similar ones for the Pine Phone, but obviously they're going to be differently sized for whatever reason. Back plate, sounds like metal. But yeah, speakers right here, covered up by the grill, lock it in place, and you're good to go again. But yeah, if you are one of those people into old phones, you know, not a bad thing. Would I recommend buying one? Like, if you're seriously wanting to have something to call home with, then no. Not unless you've got a really old network, because like I said, this thing will not run on mobile or modern networks anymore at all. So, um, cell broadcast. Oh, nice. It might still be connected to be able to get Amber Alerts. I may never know. No data usage, obviously. Mobile network. Yeah, 3G is like what it'll go up to. So good luck have it getting like something to work that way. So I forgot to add one thing in here. So if I open this up. No, I don't want to power off. And I plug this in. Come on. Go in to the port into the micro USB hole, so I plug it in like that. So you'll notice it doesn't automatically come up on my computer screen. So I do have debugging on, so it'll ask me about that. Again, doesn't come up still. So what you had to do is you had to tap the USB connected thing and then turn on USB storage. It would ask you, oh, if you're using any apps, it's gonna shut them off because of that. And then it would enable it In a second, eventually, sometime soon. So it turns it on there, so it's on. See, he's yellow and USB connected. And there's our 14 gigabyte volume there, it says. So all we do is go in. There's our whole file system there. And it's just like that. And so once I go and I pop that off and then I can go and unplug that and it'll just automatically close out of it. So it was pretty simple. You could like choose when USB mass storage happened and when it didn't and it would somewhat I guess take away functionality of your phone while it was enabled but it's not like it was totally a bad thing. If you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my, my streaming stuff. Links are all in the description places, and I will see you guys later.